In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, we are on Friday. On Friday, we pray for teachability. That is where we stopped yesterday. What is teachability? It is the capacity for us to receive from others. And one, um, how do I put it? Uh, one factor that creates an atmosphere of teachability is the virtue of humility. Sometimes we know a lot. And in our knowing a lot, uh, we fail to tap from the wisdom of others. Because we believe that maybe we know more than they do. John 14, 26. But the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things, and will remind you of everything I have said to you. John 14, 26. I have met people who are so full of themselves. It is that it's like they have the monopoly of knowledge and wisdom. I've, I am a believer that each one of us has something we can benefit from, even the young ones. I come from a school of thought which believes that even if our kids even if whatever they are saying is useless, even if whatever they are saying is stupidity, we listen to their stupidity. Maybe it is the only thing they have. Maybe. Just maybe. Sometimes we think that we know a lot. Sometimes maybe we would have benefited from the wisdom of others. But it didn't happen. Why? Because we were never teachable enough. Pray for the ability to forgive. Now, good people, I know I have never gotten tired of talking about forgiveness. It is true that forgiveness is difficult. It is also true that forgiveness is possible. And if you find yourself stuck, you are not able to forgive. Please pray over it. Pray over it. Why do we say we pray over it? Because forgiveness has its own time. And we forgive when it is enough time. There is nothing like hurried forgiveness. No wonder we talk about cheap forgiveness. When we want to believe that uh, because I'm a Christian, I'm supposed to do this or this or the other or the other one. Pray for obedience. A Christian who is not obedient is a hollow, a hollow being. Hollow. One thing that gives us identity as Christians, before we talk about other vocations, is obedience. First John 5 3. In fact, this is love for God to keep his commands, and his commands are not burdensome. The commands of God are not burdensome. Pray for your mind to be renewed. The renewal of your mind. How much how many times do you pray for your mind? Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Romans 12, 2. Romans 
pray for responsibility that you are able to do your part and do it well and finally pray for hope and courage John 16:33 I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace in this world you will have trouble but take heart I have overcome the world John 16:33 praying for hope praying for courage praying for hope and praying for courage there are so many things that we can ask from god and there are so many things that he can give us and it is important that uh, we are able to put ourselves in that situation and when we go to pray let us also know what to ask him that is important thank you May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Friday.